Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pomp Rock TV. I'm your host with the most, Dr. Ray Massey. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of sleep in our everyday lives. Did you know that until the 1950s, most people thought of sleep as a passive and dormant part of our daily lives? We now know that our brains are very active when we rest at night. Sleep is a necessity for all creatures. It affects on how we function on a daily basis and our physical and mental health in many ways. We have just recently begun to understand the very crucial parts of our brains that are used and repaired during our nightly slumber. Tonight, we have an interview with Dr. Miller, a neuropsychologist. She will help us examine this lack of sleep epidemic. Finally, our good friend and everyone's favorite artificial scientist, Doc, one Dr. Wombat. We will talk about the new technology that will revolutionize the way we sleep. But first, Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller, can you talk about the side effects of lack of sleep? So consequences of untreated sleep apnea are long term, and it's high blood pressure, it's a obesity, it's a stroke, it changes on the blood sugar and the blood lipids, and it becomes, in the history, like end of 60s, people usually, doctors treated these conditions first. Today, we know the relationship between these uh, illnesses, so we first examine sleep, and then we see that everything else follows. When we uh, fix the respiratory part, arrhythmias go away, people fear uh, getting, are getting full rest, because brain doesn't have to focus on this uh, stressful process in your airways and can nicely get sleep and, uh, as I call it yesterday, your brain is like computer when you get this cleaning, this defragmentation, and that's why sleep is so important. If you're currently a high school student, you may be aware of stress and pressure that's put onto you by countless hours of school, homework, after school activities, work, and sports. These expected and time consuming daily routines cause a lot of discontent and furthermore health risks. We put out a survey to over 800 high school students asking them for some information on their sleep patterns. It is recommended that teens get 8 to 10 hours of sleep, but only 25% of teens sleep more than 8 hours a night. It's not that they can't fall asleep, but the kids don't have the time. 65.5% of kids play a sport. 64% have an hour or more of homework each night, and 11% have a job that prevents them from getting that work done. So if we can't get more sleep, why not get better sleep? The biggest issue is how this lack of quality sleep affects people throughout the day. When asked how they feel when they don't get sufficient sleep, students replied that 52.8% had trouble paying attention, 38.9% struggled to stay awake in class, and a shockingly 67.5% of students report that they feel sluggish. Obviously, we have a major problem on our hands. But there's hope for restless teens. The new sleep initiative, rest assured, combines cutting edge technology and an awesome new application that teenagers can download onto their smartphones. Let's ask our friend, Dr. Wombat, about this new application for the phone. Hello, Dr. Wombat. Good eye, mate. So can you explain to us how this application is supposed to help people sleep? Well, we all sleep. This app helps us sleep. The app is called Rest Assured. Get it? It's a sleep pun. Ha. Huh. Can you elaborate? Oh, fine mate. So one day I was cooking up some shrimp on the barbie, and when I sat down I began to nod off. Wouldn't you know it, when I woke up, a dingo ate my baby. So I decided to make a nap that would help me sleep so I wouldn't be tired throughout the day. Being a pretend scientist, I explored something called binaural beats to try and help me sleep. And how do these work? Basically, throughout the day, our brain produces different levels of waves based on our level of focus. These beats trick your brain in producing artificial waves which help us fall asleep. So how do they trick our brains into producing sound waves? If you play one frequency in one ear and another frequency in the other, your brain can't process the difference between the two while they are so close together. Your brain will create a median tone based on the difference in the hertz of the two frequencies. Different frequencies create artificial brain waves which produce different levels of relaxation. This new tone is what mimics the brain wave. Sounds legit. So how does this app work? First, you log into your own personal account that will store all of your information. Then, you can take a survey to find out which beat is best for your particular level of relaxation you would like to achieve. You can track your sleep in a sleep log and give feedback to make your experience more effective. Finally, you will be provided on a background on binaural beats and given the ability to create your own. So there you have it, folks. Try the app out. It's free. Go download it. Teens and adults as well. Have a nice night, folks. Rest assured.